What's up? Welcome back after our little summer break with the second season of MIN Quick Stop and another special episode just for you. In our last episode, we celebrated the reveal of the new MAN TGX. In the comments below, we had some rather hot discussions about the new MAN OptiView. Some of you really love it, some of you are a little bit skeptical. If you haven't watched the video yet, check out the link below. Let me say this, MAN OptiView is a huge step towards a safer future, but I can understand it if not everybody is totally open and some people are even a little bit insecure about huge changes like this. That is why today, experienced drivers, some celebrities and maybe even me will test the new MAN OptiView in an obstacle parkour. And we will give you our unfiltered first impressions and feedback. So be part of the start of the MAN Truck Live Tour. To reflect on all your interesting comments and questions, we brought to you Martin. He's one of MAN's sales experts. Hello Martin. Hi John, how are you doing? I'm fine, it's nice to have you here. Um, one of the first questions was always, um, why did MAN come up with a new development in the OptiView in general? Well, on the one hand, uh, our task is to get more and more digital. And on the other hand, uh, we wanted to increase the safety. As we replace all conventional mirrors, we um, increase the direct view and on the other hand we cover with the um, cameras a bigger area around the truck with the picture. So I wonder how many cameras do you have and how many cameras replace how many mirrors? We have two on the left, two on the right and one front camera so in total five cameras that replace up to seven conventional mirrors. Not to forget that we eliminate the blind spot. Some of our viewers that saw the video on YouTube were wondering about the quality of the resolution on the screen. What can you tell us about this, Martin? Yes, from my perspective, it's always a big difference. If you look uh, a video from the video, meaning the front camera picture, or if you see it in reality in the HD display. Some of our viewers commented they just don't like it. It takes some of the beauty of the MAN. I think mirror replacement itself is very much polarizing. Either you like it or you are skeptical towards it. At the end, the technical advantages are obvious. You can order the cap with or without mirror replacement. Thanks, dear online community, for the huge feedback. But Martin is also very close to the clients on the road. And I wonder what kind of feedback he got. We in sales uh, received a lot of inquiries already. So I expect a huge demand for MIN OptiView. Some of our customers even want it now. We are also here because MIN has set up a little challenge. It's called the MIN OptiView Challenge. That means experienced drivers and some celebrities have the chance to first try out the new MIN OptiView. Let's get a little bit deeper into it. What are the different kind of maneuvers that the drivers have to perform? Uh, that task will be a kind of uh, slalom and I think the biggest challenge is uh, the reversing yeah, because they need to, to park the truck, so to speak, in, a, in a, a narrow place. Well, Martin, what's your expectation? I think they will have a great experience today in this parkour and for those that uh, are unexperienced driver, I think uh, they will have a better understanding what this important job means. Well, Martin, thank you for taking all these questions and comments so seriously and uh, thank you for answering them for us. You're welcome and see you next time. I had the chance to grab Philip. He's today's host of the MIN Truck Live Tour and, uh, well, uh, nice to have you here. Thank you, John. What are your exp uh, expectations? Well, I'm really, really looking forward to the challenge between professional drivers and, of course, the amateurs, which are in real life comedians, artists and singers. Did you ever drive a truck yourself? I have not driven a truck myself, so that's why I can feel for those amateurs and I can tell you they are shivering. I guess so. By the way, Philip is a car expert and he knows everything that you want to know about cars. And what are your experiences with trucks so far? Well, 
They are quite big, mm -hmm. I would say. <laughs> and uh, of course, I haven't had the chance to have a lot of experience with trucks in my car show. Uh, so I'm also looking forward to experiencing especially the OptiView system uh, myself. Can you imagine OptiView system? You don't have any mirrors anymore? Yeah, I'm excited to see when cars will come up with this. So it's, it's going to be a real challenge also for the car manufacturers because when I've driven in the UK once, there were about seven mirrors which went broken <laughs> because I didn't know how to drive on the left. <laughs> yeah, see, I wonder about the celebrities, uh, how they're going to perform, you know? Well, the comedian just uh, imitated um, Oliver Kahn, the former goalkeeper of Germany and also a very famous German pop star called Dieter Bohlen. Um, and he said, you know, it's no problem, it's no big issue. But I'm sure that they're all scared of this challenge. Yeah, it's gonna be really funny. I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's Look who I found! I found Ross Anthony and Maze Knoop. Uh, Maze what? <laughs> Maze Knoop. These two guys, yeah. you know, they are gonna like test the new MAN truck system on the parkour. Not just test. We're gonna yeah. show how it's done. Uh, All right? Yes. You, you're gonna show the pros? Oh, you think they've just invited us because we're celebrities? No, we can actually do something. We can drive El Carves. Well, that's sensational. You know, now we learned something already. Yeah. But, you know, this guy has many faces. He yes. used to be the German national coach. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> mm, yeah, I think it's uh, for me it's very interesting set uh, today I can drive mm, yes, a truck. Jürgen Klopp. <laughs> 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 so actually if I was a professional truck driver, yeah, I would never let this guy behind the wheels. Why, Why not? not? Because he's oh. too good. Because he's too good. He's many people at once. <laughs> so you guys, you are not at all frightened. No, no. because I've driven a lot of uh, camper vans in my life. And we've got the help, Natasha, of a computerized uh, a wind mirror yet now. So that is brilliant. That's going to help us a lot. Well, I thought you would be very prepared because I heard the story that you once were dancing on a truck. Even. I was dancing on a truck. I was in a truck. I was on a truck. I was <laughs> under a truck. Yes. I used to be in a band called Broses. And yeah, our sure. first video was on a huge humongous truck and we sang baby I believe that you thank you guys <laughs> I wish you all the best and I get you back healthy and happy look who I found Mark and Jan from BFS truck sports you are off-road truckers right right we do truck trial since um, almost 10 years uh, we've been two times European champion wow congratulations how many horsepowers does your truck have our truck is an MIN TGS with about 700 horsepower. And who is the driver and who is the co-pilot? I am the co-pilot, Mark is the driver and today we changed. So I was the driver, Mark the co-pilot, um, but that was not a really good idea. Well, what was the mistake? The co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, what are your first impressions about MIN OptiView? The camera quality is very nice, you see everything around the truck. But um, we drive the first time with it, so this was just new for us. But for the future, a very good um, opportunity. What's going to be your next challenge? The next challenge is um, in Austria, near, near Voigtsberg. And we try uh, to reach a better place than last time. Okay, so guys, I wish you all the best that you at least can keep your second place. Meet Bettina and Julia, two German trucker babes. Bettina, you haven't been driving yet. Are you nervous? I haven't been driving yet. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to take a look at it now, but I'll get a little instruction before I start. Did you see how Julia was driving? Of course, I saw Julia driving, but it always looks easier from the outside. Exactly. Julia, you were already driving, weren't you? I've just been driving, yes, and it was not that easy. You don't drive the same vehicle at work, so you first have to get used to the steering again. That's a matter of practice. The mirrors are cool, you can see everything, but you have to get used to it. Bettina, have you ever driven with OptiView before? No, I haven't even driven that yet. That didn't even exist when I started. We only had exterior mirrors and we as the old truckers are used to that. Well, I'm curious to see how long it takes you to get used to it. I tell you one thing, if OptiView is really that good, I'll take down the mirror in my bathroom and put a camera there too. That makes two of us. So good luck. Thank you. Bye. Yo guys, I just saw Bettina hopping on the truck and let's see how she's doing. Until now I would say she feels quite comfortable, but now she's changing her approach. I can't say if this is the right approach. No, it fits right in. 
But now she wants to double check. <laughs> let's check out the time and let's see what she says. So, Bettina was just stepping out of the truck. Bettina, how was it? It was great. I took my time. It was quite a change, but the system is actually made perfectly for driving backwards. So, I'm really excited. The system is awesome. Super invention. I think it's great. That looks super confident. And I think you are way ahead in terms of time. What do you think? No, I don't think so. I estimated three minutes in advance and that's what I needed. But very precisely. You steered in very accurately, didn't you? I am a Capricorn and a perfectionist. Better take your time and get it right, true? Yes. Okay, thank you very much and drive safe. Thank you. Now it's my turn to prove myself steering that baby. It's gonna be a first, so please don't laugh, okay? Strange! Correction? Uh huh. Correction. Whoa, 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 whoa! A little bit shaky, a little bit shaky still, but that was my first. And I made it, you know, like a perfect truck driver, almost. I had only like one, two, three, four, five corrections to make, and I hit two or three, five pylons. Hey! <laughs> but I'm addicted, you know, it's it's a lot of fun, it's easy to handle if you know what you're doing and I'm just learning. We've got so much cool stuff prepared for you in the following episodes, so please keep continue liking, sharing and commenting. Plus, the MN Roadshow will continue in more European countries. So if you want to experience the new MN TGX model yourself or if you have any questions, please contact us via social media or go to your next MN dealer. See you around.